Hello and welcome to my first GP2 vlog. My name is Nathan Hine, uh, my second motorsport vlog, and uh, the second in two days, so uh, how about that? And uh, this one is about GP2 lineups for 2017. Uh, this is about Norman Nato, Jordan King, and Luca Giotto. So, with Prima and Racing Engineering being filled up by Leclerc and Fuoco at Prima, and Della Traz and Malia at Racing Engineering, that then leaves the question, where is Nato, King, and uh, Giotto going to go for next year as race winners? With Starotkin looking like he probably isn't going to take part, Giovinazzi isn't with him filling potentially a GT role, as well as him being a reserve driver for Ferrari. Uh, as for Alex Lynn, he is going to be competing in GT in uh, the World Endurance Championship. So the question is, what is going to happen to Nato, to King, and to Giotto? Uh, this article by motorsport.com. There we go. There we go. Uh, please, please do check it out. I will leave a link in the description down below so you can read the article for yourselves. Uh, this seems to suggest that Norman Nato will be heading to Arden, which is where he was in 2015. Uh, as for Jordan King, looks like he's going to be going all Russian, which seems to be saying that it's not going to be very good for uh, Lucas Giotto, as he cannot afford to put together the sponsorship for Trident, in where he got his two race wins in 2016, which is a big, big, big shame. It seems to be the same for all Italian drivers. Is, um, obviously happening to Davide Valsecchi, he won the GP2 championship back in 2012, but no mention him in regard to Formula 1. And it is very disappointing if Giotto cannot have a competitive GP2 car for next year. MP Motorsport is looking fairly likely that uh, Giotto has an opportunity there, but to be honest, I can't see where else he can go if he can't go to Russian time and have a good chance. Potentially Dams alongside Ollie Rowland, as I said earlier. Um, but basically, it's just a, a kind of what's going to happen where with GP2. I uh, thought this article may make a good video. And uh, here are my thoughts. You know, um, I think personally that Luca Giotto should have a better seat than Norman Nato because he's younger, he's got more potential, and if Giotto is in Formula 1, in a few years' time, God, it would bless. He, let's not forget, took Esteban Ocon, who is going to be a Force India driver this year, to the last race of the season. And Ocon only just about did it through consistency. Uh, back in 2015, I, I wanted Ocon to win the championship, but Giotto did an amazing, amazing job. He got uh, four race wins compared to Esteban Ocon's one. So, absolutely incredible. He deserves a better drive than the likes of Nato, who, let's not forget, has been a, a cause of many accidents in GP2 and hasn't uh, won any kind of championship in about uh, five or six years. So why should Nato get a prize GP2 seat when Giotto uh, has been in, done an amazing job and he won a championship uh, uh, three years ago? As for Jordan King, he does have much credentials and uh, he deserves a very good seat. Although he hasn't won a feature race yet, so for me that's something he needs to do. He needs to win that feature race and then um, we, we, and then his credentials will be more worthy. But uh, that's about it. I'll leave it there. Uh, I don't want to uh, drone on for too long. Uh, just a quick mention that this weekend. I will have a full and exclusive preview of uh, WRC 2017. Brand new car, brand new drivers. Obviously, Sebastian Ogier is now with the M Sport team. Volkswagen have pulled out of WRC. So, uh, question of Citroën, Newville, Citroën, uh, Citroën with uh, Meek, and Hyundai with Newville. So we'll, we'll see what happens in that regard. I will have an all full exclusive preview 
ahead of uh, Mon- R- 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 Monte Carlo on the 21st of January. It'll be out this weekend. It should be coming to you uh, the 15th of January, hopefully, if it all goes well. And just in terms of long term, in a couple of weeks, I should have an exclusive preview of the Formula 1 season. And that should be with someone else. Thank you very much. Leave your thoughts down below and uh, subscribe, please. Um, Thank you very much, and I will see you very soon. Cheers.